everyone, second relator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Right. Couple of things I'm looking for on here, isn't there? Journal. Uh. Okay. And you're all, all the way over there. Well, at least you're close to one of the uh, fast travel points, so that's something at least. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Thanks, Sam. Life support at 100%. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Yep. It's underneath us. Yeah, here we go. Gonna be in here somewhere. Ambient temperature is normal. Well, at least it's not as cold as it was before. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. I know that, Sam. Thanks. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support is back online. Oh, we haven't seen any cat for a while. Okay, so where are you? Of course you're somewhere. There may be something here that is relevant to your search for Angaran artifacts. Ah, here we go. Is this Angaran? It looks strange. Maybe Avail will know more about it. Put it in cargo. All oh, right. Past travel here. Was there anything else I needed to do here? I can't remember. I've had a bit of a break <laughs> uh, since the last episode. Or was that the only thing I had to do involved? We'll see. Wait for PB to contact you about Park. Check your email Welcome from PB. Thank you, Suvi. Know your enemy. 
All right, hold on, we'll have to land then. Approaching the LZ. I really wish we could just return to the Tempest without taking off and having to re-land on the planet. So that would uh, make life a bit easier. Journal, take you off for now. Additional tasks. Is that in here? Know your enemy? Allies. That one. Alright, and where are you? Ah, you're all the way back here. Hopefully this should be the last one on Vold. Oh, okay, they're further back here. Well, that look like somebody we could talk to. Hello. Rylus. That's me, yes. I'm Rylus. Wow. You really showed up. You seem thrilled. Honestly, it's nothing special. Nothing special? You saved the Moshai from the Ket. And not just the Moshai. So many people owe you their lives. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation Facility sent the Ket scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased kept movement through certain areas of Vault. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. Doesn't matter if they're science ket, warrior ket, janitorial ket. They're all bad news. Some of us were concerned they might be planning more exaltation. Or putting more of our people through torturous study. We don't have the tech to break into their bases. But someone has to stop them. You're talking to the right person. We always help our friends and allies. I knew you'd help. I'll send the nav point immediately. All right. Now where are we going? Over here. Ah, I think I remember this base. I think I stumbled upon it by accident and took out the cat there before. Thank you, Sam. Pathfinder, active remnant nearby. I suggest investigating. I'm reading pet technology at this location. We've got targets! Oh yeah, I need to destroy these, don't I? These devices seem to be extracting remnant data and sending it to a single location. Can we track it down? It's heavily encrypted. I may be able to break it with more information. Oh yeah, I forgot about those missions. That looks like Ket Salvage. Be careful, Ryder. All right, let's take him out.
Alright. That was just a... A random... Random encounter. I don't think it's that base, so we'll just... Okay, it is that base. Thank you for following Rylus's tip, Ryder. Taking out these kit will mean a lot to my people. them all right I think we're good there's a lot of organic material here Angara cat something else scans could tell us more Pathfinder Uh, audio log. There is an audio log saved on this device, Pathfinder. Cat, let's get a translation, Sam. Processing. The Angara genetic code that expresses this projection of a bioelectric field has been isolated. The process to integrate this into our own genome is ongoing. Early success is documented. Once complete, adaptation should be distributed to all ascendant adherents. Ability may also prove useful as part of base soldier configurations. All research has been transmitted to the Empire. Exaltation is not just about making more cat. It's an exchange. So what's an original cat like? How much have they stolen? There's bound to be more here. Let's keep moving. Uh, initial observations, carapace metallic in nature. Possibly protective, dextroprotein-based synthesis, agile, heightened skeletal structure allow for increased reach and flexibility. <laughs> Solarian short-lived, fragile, no natural armor or protection, high metabolism, evidence of exceptional brain function. Information saved. Okay. Uh, with the Angaran genome unraveled, we have begun the process of isolating the most valuable trait to augment the ket. Bioelectrical discharge isolated and reproduced. We have commenced the distribution of disability amongst ascendants. Conversion of light to energy. Tricky, much more integrated into Angaran physiology. Our current focus. Note and go on genetics complex but elegant. Lacking obsolete residual traits commonly found in evolved species similar to Ket in certain ways. Human. Soft skin, no natural armor or protection without technology can only operate within a narrow range of environmental conditions. Genetically diverse, renowned for tenacity and adaptability. 
Another audio log detected. Let's hear it. Transmissions are acknowledged by whom? Possible breakdown in connection and information mishandled. Investigation ongoing. Logs to be updated shortly. That's good, right? If they're having problems sending Angara info back home? I wonder if we can find the follow-up logs. Hmm. Maybe it's the uh, scourge causing them problems. Asari, extremely long-lived, natural ability to create gravitational fields of some variety, not fully. Not fully understood. Monogendered, precise method of reproduction, not fully understood. Important, rumoured to be able to take in uh, genetic traits of other species to improve theirs, of great interest to Primus. Uh, Krogan, long-lived, large-muscled, hardly uh, hardy, resistance to a large range of environmental conditions, superfluous organs. Some evidence of chromosomal damage, not fully understood. Reiteration, large. All transmissions appear to have failed. Some of the team has suggested that this research is being prevented from leaving Helios. Troubling implications. Set aside for now. Taking steps to verify that primary communications are still active. I'm picking up the nav point for another CAT station. Probably their primary communications. Taking it down will hinder the cat. I say we head there. I agree. Okay. Cat bio samples are what I need. Genetic information locked. Pathfinder, these samples all contain the same genetic sequence. At first, it appears to be a familial connection, but the genome shows signs of modification. Evidence suggests the sequence was drawn from a single individual and incorporated into other cat. The Archon. Exaltation. So does the Archon control the cat because they see him as a progenitor? Or does his rank give him the privilege to propagate his genes like this? <sighs> a cultural question beyond my purview. In any case, the stuff we found should be of great interest to the science team back on the Nexus. True. We've got uh... The temperature is falling, Puff. Bit more of an understanding of how the cat operate. I'm going to cheat and just fast travel because reasons. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support at one hundred percent. Yeah. Let's get to this other cat base and shut it down. I'm reading a temperature decrease. I assume this is the place. This is the comm outpost we heard about from that cat log on Vold. That's it.
Where are you? So much fire. All right. Go. All right, what have we got in here? Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. Attention, Archon. A uh, previous report was 39 cycle cycles ago. Senate requires an update of progress within the sector. A reminder that all campaign leaders are expected to deliver reports once in every 15 standard cycles. Senate recognises that presence of the scourge phenomenon may be disruptive to, to communications. Take steps to circumvent this obstacle so that regular updates can resume. This is your second reminder of this nature. Please acknowledge receipt. Archon's not the Ket's supreme leader. There's more like him, all over Andromeda. If they find a new species, they send information about it back home. And making more Ket in the process. Rose, communication orders required to Malaysia. Archon command to block all transmissions of Angara data to the Empire. Here's a breach of protocol. Ooh, sounds like the Archon's ignoring protocol. Uh, he's got he's got ideas of his own, this Archon. Communications. Only Archon is aware of shifting situation in Helios. If Archon's opinion is that protocols are not to our benefit, accept his wisdom. He is the Senate's voice in Helios and must be obeyed. Sounds like the Ket are starting to question what the Archon's doing. If this continues, it might be good for all of us. What do we do with this, then? There is likely nothing to be done, but conflicts between factions seldom resolve quietly. Then we'll just have to keep an ear to the ground for now. With luck, something will happen. All right. Wait for new intel on the Ket. Fair enough. I believe we are now done here on Vold. So let's return. To the Tempest. Right, then we'll head back to Aya, drop the stuff off at the repository. God, I'll keep... I've, I feel like I keep saying we're going to do something and then I get distracted. All systems green. Alright, I'm not going to look at my emails. Because I'll just get distracted. We're going to head back to Aya. Yeah, Vold's done. Good. Uh, Aya is over here. history cool that is lit oh, good that's the only one we have to do here now
All right. Fast travel. What a blessing that is. Get it back this way. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, you're here. Welcome to my favorite place in the galaxy. Thank you. Pavoa, I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's cultural museum and history archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. I've already had this conversation. You said the helmet was touched by the scourge. I forget you. when the scourge with the dry the ships, but that if it or in the storms, I hadn't even thought of that. Oh. Wait, do I need to be on that mission? Quite possibly. Uh, Helios, I uh, forgotten history. There we go, and I'm here. Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? I picked this up. Any idea what it might be? How in the skies did you find an Angaran star map? One that still works, even? It must be pre-Scourge. If we analyze it, we can learn where our people traveled before the Dark Age. Aren't star maps usually bigger? An Angaran star map isn't used for navigation. It acts as a log of where its owner traveled. This one's data is locked, but Aelin can decrypt it for me. I picked up this figure earlier. It might be Angara. This, this is unfamiliar to me. It, it does resemble an Angara, but it looks so strange. It's clearly centuries old. Is it an artistic interpretation, or is this what we really look like? The implications. Pathfinder, you may have discovered our earliest artifact yet. If I'd known what a big deal it was, I would have let it ride shotgun. No harm done. It's seen centuries of wear. One bumpy ride won't change much. Is this Ingaran? I found it on one of your homeworlds. Son of Buff. It's an ancient Ravan. A musical instrument. It uses Angara's body energy to produce music. We have them now, but nothing is beautiful. The songs it played were probably lost long ago. How much culture have we forgotten? Art, music, stories, it's all gone. I can't imagine losing everything that way. You left your culture behind. This isn't much different. In any case, relics like this help us. You've given me more to study than I ever expected. I've got a lot of work ahead. Thank you for your help, Pathfinder. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Turned the phone out, done that. Ah, oh, good. That's now over. Alright. Yeah, I've read that before. Okay, and just like that, we are done. Done with Aya. All right, we're knocking these out of the park now. How are we doing for time? All right. Now, I believe we can finally start Vetra's mission, and we've been putting that off for far too long. Hello. Right, back over here.
All right, we're finally getting your mission done now, Vetra. Sorry for the wait. Sorry, Joe. Let's swap you out for Vetra. Wow. Look at all this. The Scourge did a number here, didn't it? To think this was supposed to be the Turian home, now the Exiles have taken over. Cosmic radiation is off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the Nomad. What good are these fancy suits if they don't block radiation? In normal situations, they do. This planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. No protection from a cosmic ray tearing you apart at the molecular level. So, stick to the Nomad. Descent engine engaged. Good luck, Ryder. Thanks. <laughs> no walking on this service. And I very much doubt there's any vaults here. I met your sister on the Nexus. She's really... Chatty, bouncy, irritating. Yeah, I don't know anyone like that. She said you raised her? Well, I tried. She was a handful. What was it? Just couldn't wait to be a mom? Excuse me? Uh, never mind. All right. Let's get some of these on the go. Gravity's lower than we're used to, Pathfinder. Gil says you shouldn't worry about accidentally hitting escape velocity. <laughs> Thanks, Gil. So bad should compensate for the lower gravity, to a degree. Zones have been added to your nav system. Excellent. Okay, that's done. Pathfinder. Why can I hear whispers? I'm being indoctrinated. There's a Reaper here. I recently found out that originally the Reapers were supposed to be coming up into Andromeda at some point. Like a faction of them split off because somehow they found out about the initiative and they started pursuing the Arcs. I'm kind of glad that hasn't turned out to be the case because I, say, I, I would very much like Andromeda to carry on as its own thing, but I don't think that's going to happen with the next Mass Effect. Apparently, it's a sequel to both this Automated and Mass Effect 3. Deploying forward station. But it's good they're not ignoring and Andromeda at least. Okay. Still a few to go. Right, what, what are you? Scan My minerals in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Think I need to apologize, Vetra. Now? Yeah. See, I had an older sister. Five hundred years older. By the time I was self-aware, she was already a matriarch. In other words, I had two mothers, and they tag-teamed, trying to raise me right. Well, Sid and I had no parents, and someone had to be responsible. I get it. That's why I apologized. I doubt you do. Forget I said anything. Oof. Exiles, heads up! Oh, good. Undocumented mineral has been detected, Pathfinder.
Oh, oh, I forgot Vetra. Uh, should probably do your skills. Where are you? Yeah. There we go. What about you, PB? Can you do any more? No, apparently not. There we go. What a time to reload. Callum was right. Exiles everywhere. What would they want with this place? Pathfinder, I detect a data pad nearby. It may provide answers. All right. Oh, it's in here. Data pad, thank you. Got plenty of helium three soil at this site, but I think we'll de deplete it pretty quickly. Once we finish here, head back to the base. Cracks will add it to the stash. In case you didn't get the new passcode, it's data corrupted. They're mining helium three? The main component in shuttle fuel pathfinder. It can also be used to make highly effective explosives. Just what we need. Exiles with explosives. Let's get into that base. The attached passcode is only a fragment. Data here indicates other mining domes. I've added the locations to your map. Excellent. Hey, asshole. Uh, don't think flying off to the arse end of nowhere will save you. You still owe me 80k and you're going to make good. If I have to cut myself over to that broken dump and shake the credits out of you myself, I will. You better be making a hole over there, because when you come back, you've got me to answer to. Hey, you left without saying goodbye. You're coming back, right? Did I do something? One second you're telling me I'm the guy for you. We should settle down, try and make the best of Kadara. The next... Okay, forget it. You take all the time you need over there. Make your big score like you wanted. Then you can come back. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here waiting. Uh, thank you for your purchase. Sorry, melding part five. On 50, 000, uh, 50 credits. If you have an issue with your purchase, please contact our customer service extranet address. Do not respond to this message. There it is. I think we're done for this bit. I'll grab the extra nickel. That just tell me this. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! I can change my loadout. Okay. That's what that's for. Good to know. Alright, that's one done. Uh, you okay there? Right, what are you? Find the code snippets. Scan minerals. Find the code snippets. Alright, we'll head in that direction. That data pad we found mentioned a guy named Crex. Any idea who that is? Doesn't ring a bell. If he's out here, he might be dangerous. Oh, blimey. Ah, right. Over there, I need to head. 
Make sure I don't go shooting off the surface of the of this rock. Must be quite fun though to bounce around in damn near zero gravity like that. Question mark over here. Sam, what is that? A mining dome, Pathfinder. You should be able to exit the Nomad once inside. What about the crazy space radiation? The dome structure prevents cosmic rays from entering. Good to know. Thank you. <gasps> Platinum! Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Platinum. Lots of platinum. I can get my N7 armor, I hope. Probably not, because this, this is a pitifully small amount of platinum. I'm taking it all, though. All of it. It's mine. I don't care. Okay, I think I got it all. An undocumented mineral has been detected, Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. Oh, hello. completes my mineral database. The Geophysics VI is functioning at peak performance. Excellent. Lucan will be happy to see his baby running smoothly. The VI isn't his child, Pathfinder. It's just a saying. Never mind. Good. That's all the rocks done. Data pad. Check it in like you asked. Found a decent batch of helium three soil here. Think we can mine this for another week at least. Might even be enough for Crex to finish the first one. Feel free to take, uh, feel free to take what we what we have to the base. Passcode is data corrupted. This Crex must be in charge of mining helium three. He's the one we need to stop. 
The passcode is still incomplete, Pathfinder. I require one more fragment. Uh, Caitlin Perro. I've never been so wrong in my life. To think I almost killed Baxter. Dear God, I could have got the whole team killed. All those Ket soldiers and ships we keep running into, they were following the signal we used to track the lockers from the Solarian Ark. Our equipment and tags were like a goddamn lighthouse for them. Baxter took Marcus' shotgun and blew a hole in the uh, transceiver. Just as a huge Ket ship appeared right over our position. I shot Baxter in the leg before I realised he just saved all our lives. Once we got to the shelter, Marcus splintered the leg and I offered Baxter one hell of an apology, plus a contract. I think he said thank you. I'm stitching uh, his Vagabonds patch onto his gear myself. Least I can do. We'll stick to using Baxter's equipment from now on. It'll be harder for the initiative to track us, but harder for the Ket too. We'll be okay, we just need to stick together. End log. Interesting. No comments about the Solarian arc? Right. Alright. Don't need to worry about that one for now. Go back to that one. I've got a whole bunch of platinum, so I'm a very happy chappy. Hopefully I can... Uh, build some of my N7 armor. What do you have for me? The base is comprised of two mining domes. The second can only be accessed with a passcode. I also detect multiple frequencies originating from the area. They have communication with Kadara. So why did you come here? Short answer? Never been before. That's it? Yeah, why not? Hello. Okay, I don't think we're going to get Vetra's mission done this episode. But let's try finish up here. Oh, good, they've got a Hydra. Here they come. Oh, God damn it. Just taken care of, unless they've got another one somewhere. I hope they don't. Oh, they do have another one. Shit. Oh, uranium. I want platinum. It's not another Hydra, it's a turret. Fine, I can work with that.
find out. Excellent. And I need some ammo. Here we go. Hey from Kadara. Hey Kellogg. Uh, the gang here with, uh, has been has a bet going, and we need you to settle it. This Krex guy we keep hearing about. Ask him if he's a real scientist and see how he reacts. Like he's Krogan, right? Don't they have brains the size of walnuts or something? Have you actually seen him work? Can he count above ten? Ha. <laughs> okay. But seriously, you have to tell me what it, what he's like. I hear he's a nightmare to work with. Come back soon so we can hear all the stories. Holy shit, we got to try out uh, those hydras today. I can't believe you left before they arrived. Shit, Caleb. If you could see them in action, with these babies in our lineup, we'll stop the collective for sure. No, that didn't work out for you, did it? Hey, I wonder if you could get a few for H07. I bet they'd kick some serious ass in low G, maybe. Maybe you could give Krex an epic punch right in the quad. If you do, take a picture for me. We all see the way you stare at uh, Kessa, uh, Kessia. From the way you two talk, it sounds like you knew each other on Kadara. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess you came for her. Came here for her. Just ask her out. You were one of the biggest smugglers on Kadara, and now you're sitting pretty on a big score from this venture. If that's not uh, most eligible bachelorette material, I don't know what is. Besides, for a Turian, you're not half bad looking. She likes you, trust me. Do us all a favour and close the deal with Kessia. We're sick of you mooning over her. All right then. Look, asshole, you can harass me all you want, but it won't make uh, my guys work any faster. You'll get your healing three sword when we're good and finished. You want to ship this back to, to base yourself? Fine, but leave my team alone. Sam, you get that fragment? I've completed the passcode, Pathfinder, marking the XL base in your system. Good. Let's put an end to whatever Crax is doing. That sounds like a good idea. It also sounds like an idea for the next episode. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.